Hello everybody, it's uh, Łukasz Mianowski speaking from Takapara. I don't know if you can see me already or not yet. Um, yeah, first of all, welcome to Takapara uh, place. And um, one second. Uh, welcome to, to my place, uh, the place where Takapara is established daily. Uh, Takapara is a Polish brand which exists from four years. And last year I opened my first uh, shop, which is not online shop. And right now I'm speaking to you from this, this place. Um, okay, so behind me you can see my whole collection of colorful socks. Uh, which is available in my physical store, but uh, and which you can find as well uh, online uh, and in online shop of Blickfang as well. So uh, once again, welcome to Takapara, and I will present myself uh, in the first time, and then I will present a little bit of uh, of my brand as well, because it's the most important actually today. Um, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, you can write it down on your, under the Facebook Live and I can see your comments directly on, on the PC so we can interact. If you have any questions or, or something to say, just uh, go on. Okay, so about myself. My background is a little bit interesting and uh, I would say uh, not so obvious because after I get my secondary school diploma, I moved to uh, France to study there and I spent like six years studying different stuff. I was studying biology, I was studying geology, I was studying tourism and regional development. So a lot of things which uh, were not really connected to uh, socks to fashion and to uh, to having my own business actually um, and um, after I finished my study I decided to come back to Poland and my first job was uh, in car industry so still nothing connected to fashion and um, I was working for a big international company like 10 years and after this time, uh, actually from the first day I started to work for this international company, I was like thinking about to quit and start my own business. However, it's not always easy and um, especially when you have no idea what to do and which kind of business you would like to, to, to make and create. Um, that's why I think I stayed, I stayed so long time uh, in this international company. Uh, in logistic department. So in the end, I finished up like a director of the logistic department in this plant. So it was a really good job and comfortable from the economical point of view and and everything. And the good point, the, another good point of this work was that uh, my company sent me to Portugal. So I was living like um, three years in Portugal, but still without idea. Uh, what to do in my business and which kind of uh, enterprise to make and which kind of idea to develop to, to be more happy and more realized by myself. During all this 10 years, uh, something was missing and actually I was missing the creative aspects. You know, because working in a big company, you have strategies, you have your boss, you have everything and, and Actually, you, I mean, me, I was just a small cringe and I was not able to express my uh, creative uh, soul and, and to, to make something which correspond more to myself. That is why uh, uh, after those 10 years, I was already 36 and I told myself uh, that, hell, guy, you have to do something with your life because you will not be happy making 
some logistics in international company, you need to create your business, you need to be your boss. And um, at this time, um, by coincidence, I met a girl who, who is the uh, designer, socks designer, and we get for coffee and she, uh, she told me a little bit about her job, about her life. And I told myself, wow, what an amazing idea. I was always loving colorful socks and um, it was a little bit difficult to find the socks the design I was looking for on the market. And having somebody who told me how to produce socks and how the process is was so amazing. And th this day, uh, I told myself, I told myself, uh, okay, so it's time to move. Uh, it's time to stop the uh, the international company job. It's it's time to to make something uh, more creative. Uh, and one year later, um, I quit. And I started my my business. Uh, it was really interesting because I came back to Poland. Uh, I spent a little bit of time um, before I, I found a producer because my idea was to produce in Poland, uh, especially that I'm living in Łódź, and Łódź is a city uh, which is like textile uh, capital from centuries and. Uh, would be stupid not to use this opportunity to um, to create your business, especially that my idea was to work with textile. That's why I was looking a long time to find somebody who was able to produce the quality I was asking for. Because the good point uh, of my ten years in a multinational company was that uh, my mm, expectations was very high. I was like uh, looking for some precise production style, and I was looking for some supplier who would be able to uh, answer my um, my expectations and my my, uh, my project to be reactive. Uh, that's why it took a little bit long, but in the end, I found a really small familiar company which is based here in Wood, and uh, which was actually keen to start to work with me, and um, was funny because. Uh, in the beginning, the first day when I came there with my projects, with my designs, um, they seen it and they told Guy, you're stupid, it's not possible to make su su such socks. Uh, uh, and on the other hand, nobody will buy it. Um, so their reaction was a little bit, I would say, normal. Uh, anyhow, uh, after discussion, and when I saw the machine, when I seen, seen the machines they are working on, um, I told them, "Listen, guy, you have really good Italian machines, which are like top from the production. You can do everything, whatever you want with them. Just need to change your mind a little bit uh, and, and uh, think how to create the programs and how to launch the production and." Uh, this step was really funny because the, the my producer, uh, a young guy, is still like looking for new options and solutions. So he spent a little bit of time to understand how the machines work and how to make something different than uniform white or uniform black socks. So after first week, uh, first prototypes uh, get ready and I was really, really excited. And I can show you the really first model was, let me see where it is. Um, yeah, those one, those four. Because when I started to think about how I will manage my company and how I will manage my, my brand, I told myself that I will always make like four designs, um, four variants, one design in, in the reality. Uh, which is expression of the same pattern in four different colors. So I started this way and today I'm more or less still doing the same. So this model was the first one I ever created and it's still in my uh, offer and it's still uh, attracting a lot of customers, a lot of attention. Then I make a variance of different colors. And as you can see here on the wall, there is a lot of color and a lot of patterns and a lot of 
different designs, more sober or more crazy. Uh, so everyone can find something for, for himself. And when I started, it was like spring and I told myself people liked the short socks. So then immediately I started the, the uh, anchor version, which is like, like right here. Uh, the really short socks which go to the ankle so all patterns are available in, in those uh, short in this short version and then I found as well in my producer warehouse the uh, neon colors and I told myself wow it would be so funny to make something really uh, strong and something really intense and then we use those neon colors which are used for uh, uh, sports socks production mostly, and we created something really uh, extravagant and really strong in color. So this was at the beginning, and uh, this was at the beginning, and I started with those four, uh, four examples. I see the first question, how many design do I have? Uh, different patterns. I would say I have something about like 250 probably because I have those different colors and different lengths and it was my first first collection uh, which name is Takapara Classic. So you have in this collection um, geometrical patterns uh, reinforced with really strong and intense colors um, and this was my kind of signature and I was really happy to start with that because there was already a few brands making some colorful socks but like uh, more funny and funky uh, uh, my idea was to create something for people from my generation I would say the people who, who already work in offices and don't really dare to, to wear crazy socks uh, and um, uh, Elena, come down, I will show flamingos later on. Um, yeah, so uh, my idea was to create the socks for those guys, like like me who were working in offices, uh, who were wearing the suits and sp staying elegant all the time, all the day. And by using the, the colorful socks, uh, it was possible for, for it's possible possible for those customers to express them a little bit and and show they call us from the black or, or navy blue suits, under suits. Um, so this was the first uh, time in the first period uh, when I was making those colorful uh, geometrical patterns. And after, um, I would say, three years, when my company started to be established a little bit and, and uh, present, uh, recognized in Poland and in Germany as well, because I started to go for Black Franks, uh, so in Austria as well, because I went to Vienna. Um, so I understood that after I observed, because I'm going quite often for different markets and different fairs, so you can meet me uh, directly during the all Black Franks in, in Germany, in Austria. And when I was traveling, meeting people, discussing, uh, I understood that something is missing in my collection and that uh, something um, uh, is not like, I would say, covered by my offer because uh, I created my brand for the guys and girls, uh, this is similar age like me, but after um, I was willing to propose something more funky as well for younger customers who were uh, looking for something more crazy, uh, less, more expressive and more colorful. And that's why I took a decision to enlarge my offer a little bit and to create something, uh, something astonished and different. And last year in March 21, I uh, launched the new line, which name is Takapara Fan. So this way we have uh, Takapara Classic, which is colorful expression of geometrical form. Then uh, we have Takapara Fun, uh, which is like funky style, streetwear style, uh, 
uh, young people uh, style or Peter Pan complex uh, guy style. Uh, so something which is completely different, much more creative, much more free, uh, and not so um, organized as uh, as the geom geometrical forms I was using in the beginning. And 21st of March last year, I started this new project. And nowadays, I have much more of those, those designs. I will show you as well. So the first one I created uh, in this modern line was this model, which represents frogs and storks. So I decided to use this pattern uh, on a spring day, to present this pattern on the spring day. And the storks are like symbol of success um, and new something new coming on. So that's why I decided to put some storks on the first model and on the second one. Yeah, because this is the most important stuff, the fan collection, which logo is here, pretty similar to the previous one, but with uh, additive fun. Um, fun collection uh, means two different socks, but uh, matching. So uh, the left one represents frogs, and the right one represent represent uh, storks. So you have the story which which is connecting to different um, objects or styles. So you have those funky socks, which are two different socks with completely new uh, design. The patterns. Uh, this one was the first one, then as Easter time was coming, I created the, the bunnies. So you have bunnies on one socks, and actually it should be like that. And the uh, bunny ass on, on the second one with bunny poops as well. So as I told you, the fan collection is completely disconnected and, and it's not uh, nothing to do with classical patterns. You have those funny stuff. Uh, then the third one was the sheep. So the field of sheep with black black sheep. And then it was the beginning and I, uh, I remarked immediately that people were interested, uh, were buying, were asking for more patterns. That's why the, the, the whole collection, the fun collection is growing up quickly. And right now I, I have like 22 different patterns. Then Something more was missing. That's why I introduced the children's sizes, which are over here. So for uh, you can have the same pattern um, for pa father, mother, and for a child. So you have exactly similar patterns in the smaller sizes. And then I started to make something um, more engaged socially, I would say. And I've done those two socks, the one with boobs and this second one with penises. Mm, uh, and the idea of those two socks is to support two foundations. This one is supporting the uh, cervical cancer prevention, and this one is done in cooperation with Movember uh, Foundation, which works on prevention of um, testicular cancers. And a part of incomes is shared with those two foundations. So we have really surprising boobs socks and really uh, amazing penis socks. I try to not to be vulgar and, and keep uh, elegant form to present those two models. Uh, so as you can see, you can wear them without any risk that people will uh, run after you on the street. Uh, and this project was really interesting. So after summer work was coming, so I created the flamingo Elena was asking for. So this pattern is like mm, must have and and really popular, funny, people are buying hundreds of those uh, funny flamingos. And as the trend is to present some dogs, so I have dogs and I have the um, ghosts, but glowing in the dark ghost. So if we switch off the lights, um, the ghosts will appear and, and glow. Then I have avocado uh, and uh, the, my last uh, project was to make something local, so it will be difficult to see this, those patterns on the socks. You can always visit my uh, web page, which is www.takapara.com, uh, to see those patterns on the pictures. It's much more comfortable to to see them 
uh, there than here. And the, the last one was, uh, I would say, connected with the city I'm living in. So on this one, you will find the uh, most popular uh, monuments of lots. Um, so you can see online or you can come to my city and visit myself in my store and we can discuss about those socks as well. So as I told, um, I started with the, those classical patterns uh, with intense colors, then Takapara Fan appeared, uh, which make my offer much more uh, interesting, developed and, and um, rich. Then I was willing to make something more artistic as well, or something inspired by artists. Um, and here you have one socks, which is uh, which is from Takapara Art Collection. This one, the yellow one, and I've done it to celebrate 100 ye years of Bauhaus uh, style. So as well, you have two different socks inspired by Bauhaus School of um, Architecture. And in total, I have three of them. Just one is available in store because I just uh, took two orders from the production. They are already online, uh, so you can uh, once again uh, go online and check those Bauhaus art collection, which is really astounding. And the art collection will be growing. Um, my idea is to grow it and to have much more patterns which are linked to artists and different uh, artistic style. So I'm thinking about to make something local, so use the local artist or to invite some artists or graffiti guys or tattoo guys to make the patterns because in global all patterns are designed by myself. I'm doing the geometrical patterns. Then I'm having a, a, a friend who is making the illustrations because I don't know how to do this and I'm not really good at it, but I'm really criticizing a lot and uh, this art collection is more open for people from outside who just want to make three socks because idea is once again to work with three socks uh, and if you are uh, having some ideas if you have any uh, ideas or, or projects on you would like to express your drawings on, on something more useful uh, or oh, I uh, was not correct, on something which, uh, which can be used by everybody or every day, you can contact me and we can design something together and make so your socks uh, in Takapara art collection. And one thing which is interesting as well with my products is the sizes. You can see here, because right now I have four sizes. I start with really small children, size like 25, 30. Uh, I hope you're seeing on the correct way. And the largest socks I have is 4650, which is really big for big uh, foot guys. Um, yeah, so basically we have classical collection, we have fun collection, we have standard length, we have um, ankle socks, which are like more sneakers. Uh, I created as well something which is Takapara Classic Vintage. So you can see here um, a lot of old school socks, white with just stripes. So it looks like Stranger Things socks, um, which are really good for tennis, for example. I tried to make some underwear as well. So you can go on site and check how it looks like uh, on, the, on the pictures, on the photos. And my last production is this collection. Is this fourth line of product, uh, which name is Takapara Distinguished Style. So here, uh, I try to show this way. Here you can see uh, something different. The packaging already is different, so it's more like gift uh, socks. Uh, in Takapara DS, so distinguished style, I'm using uh, really high quality yarns and really, uh, I would say, luxury products and, and materials. For example, the DS, DS collection uh, is created with yarn of merino wool. 
So we have like super wash merino wool product, uh, which can go to the washing machine without any problem. Those socks are longer. So you can wear them uh, with a suit without any risk of showing your naked uh, body. So you have this merino wool, uh, other patterns which are done in merino wool as well with pink, red, green and blue colors. You have possibility to buy three socks in the elegant uh, gift box as well. So you can check my online store as well and, and check how it looks like. And then you have those one which looks like black, but they are red black. Um, those patterns are like have a, like stripes. The green one, blue one, and the red one. And idea of those was to show something which looks like standard black socks, but when you put them on the feet, on your feet you can see those discrete color appearing and making it really, really elegant. And for those um, socks, I'm using the uh, Fil de Cos yarn, uh, which is cotton, um, premium quality uh, Egyptian cotton, transformed to be much, much stronger and much more comfortable. So they, when you touch it, the aspect is a bit different, uh, but they're really elegant. And once again, they're really long, so they um are perfect for suits and for some elegant occasions okay it's not comfortable to show everything this way because i don't see what i'm showing actually so we go back to the stands um yeah and i think this is the idea of my company. Uh, um, every, everyone can find something for himself. Everybody can have socks uh, he's looking for. Um, I have classical collection. I have fun collection, art collection, uh, distinguished type collection. So basically, um, nothing is missing. And I would love to show my collection during the, uh, the Big Fang uh, trade show, as I'm used to do, and have direct contact with you. Uh, however, as you all know, it was a little bit difficult and uh, like impossible to, to go to Germany to show it. That's why we can meet here and discuss a little bit about socks. And of course, uh, I prepare, I pre I've prepared the special offer for uh, this uh, online event um, so you can go on blickfang.live um, web page check my uh, presentation uh, so you, you should look for Austeller Takapara and then uh, you can find the direct link to my website which is takapara.com and of course you can use the, the special code uh, which is uh, blink blink para para blink para, uh, and you will have twenty percent discount for everything, and as usual, as always, actually, you have free transport because uh, when you buy online in Takapara store, you don't pay delivery, so delivery is always offered, even if you buy one pair. So I invite all of you to go on my online store. We'll say once again takapara.com and feel free to spend hours seeing our collection or patterns um, or designs and if you have any questions you can contact me by email by messenger or we can meet i hope soon in one of uh, blick uh, events um, i think that's all guys uh, I told you about myself. I told you about, about the brand, my brands. Uh, if you have any questions, as I told you, you can contact me and be free. Uh, basically, we are running out of time, so I think it will be time to say uh, goodbye and have a perfect time during the Easter. Um, and I wish you a lot of sun, a lot of um, health and a lot of uh, great moment with your family and your 
um, friends. So have a, have a nice time. Uh, enjoy Blickfang online event and enjoy premium quality Takapara socks. Thank you. Bye.